Uh, Judge Austin, uh, I just want to, I know you've done some work in drug courts. Yes. Right? And uh, that's a big deal in Vermont. As a matter of fact, our uh, senior status uh, revered uh, Judge Sessions wants to spend a lot of time uh, on drug courts. Uh, if I happen to be a big believer, believer in them. They, you know, they save money, but it's more than that. It really has had a real impact on recidivism. Uh, and it, you know, most of the people there have a real substance abuse problem that sometimes then morphs into a criminal situation. So uh, I just want to ask you about the bridge program. And I know you preside over that as a magistrate judge. And can you just discuss your experience with that program in South Carolina? and how you see that program being beneficial to the, ju the justice system. Yes, Senator, um, I actually really, I mean, that's one of the fun parts of my job as presiding over Bridge Court. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, I, I call it the fun part of my job. Um, the individuals that are entered into Bridge Court, there's been a, deter been a determination by the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Probation Office that the, the foundation of the reason why they are in federal court is their drug use. And so in drug court, what we try to do is give them tools and resources. We provide them with mentors um, to try and help them address the drug use issue mm -hmm. and any other issues that might be um, kind of forcing them or, or pushing them, them in that direction. Um, sometimes it's education. Um, sometimes it's homelessness. Um, issues like that, if we can help them address that, help them find jobs, help so them. So you have the resources that Absolutely. are available uh, through the court process yes, to our, assist and follow up? Yes, sir. So our probation office assigns um, each individual to a drug counselor. Um, they're assigned mentors. There's also mentors, <clears throat> excuse me, in the legal community. We have attorneys who come in and um, act as mentors as well to these individuals. Mm -hmm. um, we help them find jobs. Um, and then we have uh, meetings every two, we call them meet meetings, every two weeks they come into court. And the first thing I ask them is, tell me something good. <laughs> tell me something that, that good that happened to you in the, in the past two weeks. And it's interesting because the first time they come in, it's like, mm, I, you know, I don't know anything that, that happened that was good. But I'm like, you made it two weeks without using drugs. Yeah, you know? that is good. So let's start there. And then, you know, by the end, they're, they're talking and they're telling me everything that's going on. But I, I really enjoy the drug program. I believe that um, the majority of our individuals who graduate are successful. Um, and I think, I think it just helps them when they return back into the community. They have tools that they can use to make sure that they stay on the right track.